Hello friends, welcome to Coding Host YouTube channel. In this video, I will explain this program maximum consecutive vowels. So in the input, we will get a string. So in this string, you can see that we have u. U is a vowel, and after that we have i, u, and a. So we have three vowels which are consecutive. So maximum consecutive vowel in this string is three. So output is three. So now I will explain you logic of this program. So first we will take two variables, max one variable and max two variable, and their value will remain zero. And after that we will take a for loop. So this for loop will start from zero and it will run up to the length of the string minus one. So length of the string minus one. And inside of this for loop we will take a char variable and we will check the every character of this string at index starting from zero and if that character is a vowel so in that case we will increment the value of this m1 variable so if character is a vowel so m1 variable will increment so m1 plus plus and in the else part if it is not a vowel so m1 will become zero so m equal to zero and after that i will take one more if statement here in this for loop if max1 is larger than max2 variable so in that case we will assign the value of max1 in the max2 variable so max2 will become max1 so now let's run this program so this for loop will start from zero so i already have written all the characters and their indexes so at index 0 we have z so z is not a vowel so uh, this variable will remain 0 after that at index 1 we have m so m is also not a vowel so it will remain as it is after that at index 2 we have u so u is a vowel so this m1 variable will increment so m1 will become 1 and here it will check if m1 is larger than m2 so yes so in the m2 variable we will take the value of m1 variable so m2 will also become 1 after that at index 3 we have p so p is not a vowel so this m1 variable will become 0 after that you can see that from index 4 to 6 we have not found any vowel so this m1 variable will remain 0 now at index 7 we have i so i is a vowel so this m1 variable will become 1 and after that here it will check if m1 is larger than m2 so no they are equal so m2 variable will remain as it is now at index 8 we have u so u is also a vowel so m1 will increment so it will become 2 now you can see that value of m1 is larger than m2 so we will store its value in the m2 so now m2 will become 2 after that at index 9 we have a so it is also a vowel so m1 will increment and it will become 3 and we will store this 3 in the m2 variable so now m2 will become 3 after that at index 10 we have p so p is not a vowel so this m1 variable will become 0 and at index 11 we have k and it is also not a vowel so this m1 variable will remain 0 so now you can see that in the max2 variable we have 3 which is our output so maximum consecutive vowel in this string is 3 so now let's write the program so in the program we have to complete this method so we know that first we will take two variables int m1 equal to 0 and m2 equal to 0 and after that we will take a for loop for int i equal to 0 and i less than s dot length and i plus plus and in this for loop i will take a char variable so char c equal to s dot char at i so it will check the every character of this string at index i and after that i will take a if statement if c is equal equal to a 
और C इज इक्वल इक्वल टू E और C इज इक्वल इक्वल टू I और C इक्वल इक्वल टू O और C इक्वल इक्वल टू U सो इन दिस इफ स्टेटमेंट वी विल इंक्रीमेंट अवर मैक्स वन वेरिएबल सो मैक्स वन प्लस प्लस एंड इन द एल्स पार्ट सो वी विल मेक दिस वेरिएबल एज जीरो सो एम वन इक्वल टू जीरो एंड आफ्टर डैट आई विल टेक इफ स्टेटमेंट इफ एम वन इज लार्जर दैन एम टू सो वी विल स्टोर इट्स वैल्यू इन द मैक्स टू वेरिएबल सो मैक्स टू इक्वल टू मैक्स वन एंड इन द लास्ट वी विल रिटर्न दिस मैक्स टू वेरिएबल सो रिटर्न मैक्स टू एंड लेट्स रन द प्रोग्राम so in the output we are getting maximum consecutive hours equal to 3 so it means that our program is working fine thanks for watching